Hi everyone. Today I'm back to show you how to make this Roman Hugs and Kisses bracelet. I know I was supposed to show you how to make the wedding set, but unfortunately for the time lapse between the time I made it to now, I kind of forgot how to do it. So <laughs> I have to figure that out and I just haven't had time. So instead of that, for now we are going to learn how to make this bracelet. So the stuff you're going to need to make this will be a toggle of your choice or a clasp or closure. Um, this is optional to wire protectors and if you've got wire protectors that's great because they make the life of your bracelet much much longer. You will need some super duos, some three millimeter check glass beads and I'm doing this bracelet I did this one kind of like in spring colors all different colors this one I'm gonna do with black pearls they're kind of like a hematite pearl and white and where you see I have the white pearls is where I'm going to put the black pearls and the white here this one I made too big so after this video actually I'm really I'm going to take this bracelet apart because it's way too big. I wanted it to be an eight and I think it's like a nine and a half. <clears throat> so it, it ended up being way too big. And I'm going to omit this blue because it kind of throws this bracelet off anyway, right? You will need, um, for a size eight, I'm going to use um, 10 black pearls and 24 white pearls. And I really don't know how many of all this other stuff you're going to need. Just like you're going to need a few um, check fire polish beads. The three millimeter. You can actually use three millimeter rounds too if you want. And probably maybe have to put a 15 in between them here if you use a round. Because the check beads are kind of almost oval shape. So they're not really round like a round bead. You will need a size 10 beading needle or size 12, whatever you've got. I'm using a six pound fire line. And you're going to need about three and a half yards of that. And you will need a pair of scissors. And you will need a thread zapper if you have one. I have one and nobody can touch it. All right, so gather all your materials and I'll see you back here. Okay, to get started, I strung on one super duo, one super duo, one, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention too that these are eight millimeter pearls. Duh, I am so forgetful. So the eight millimeter pearls I have in white and I have them in black. You can probably try this with six millimeter and you're going to have to adjust your um, beads, your seed beads and your fire polish here. Anyways, you string on four of each. So super dual pearl, super dual pearl, super dual pearl, super dual pearl. And I'm doing this, um, this section in just the white. So you're going to leave, oh, a good long enough tail to sew your closure on. And then I'm going to pick the piece up and I'm going to run my needle back through all these pieces again. So I'm going to go through the super duo, the pearl and through the rest. One sec, I gotta adjust my camera. All right. All right. Because I keep going off. That's not gonna be good. And you're gonna keep hearing step up, step up. My son's parrot wants to be picked up. <laughs> he just keeps saying step up. All right. So now we're going to close this by going through the pearl, a super duo and a pearl, and that will make your circle complete.
and pull that nice and tight. Oops, I did not go through my pearl. To close. You can actually go right through the whole thing um, a second time if you want. Now, this is what your component's going to look like, your first piece. So, if you're going to do a colored bracelet, like I did, your next group of pearls, step up. Your next group of pearls, if you can see i done all the green here and then I put the white here. So the next pearl you're going to pick up, actually you're going to pick a super duo up first. And I always check to make sure that the second hole is open in the super duo. Because sometimes these super duos have one of the holes closed and that's nasty to try and poke your needle through. And you're going to bend the crap out of your needle trying to poke that hole. So you're going to pick up your color pearl, the second color. So I'm picking up black. I'm going to pick up a super duo and I'm going to pick up a white. A super duo. And a black. And a super duo. So on your thread, you should have three pearls and four super duos like that. And then you're just going to do some right angle weave. You're going to come around. You're coming out this way. Come around and go through. Your pearl this way. Like so. Pull that through. And then you will have the start of your second group of white. So you should have two super duos in between in the middle here. Now you need to go be exiting up here, so you gotta go through all these beads again to exit here. But what I like to do is go all the way around just to reinforce this because it's too flimsy like this. So let's go all the way around through all the beads. You know what, if you used an eight pound fire line, you may not have to do that. I probably should have used eight pound. But I hate using eight pound with this size 10 beading needle just because it's too thick and I may not get my um, needle through those seed beads. So if you use to 8 pound fire line then make sure you use a size 12 beading needle. Alright, let's tighten this back up and let's continue to go through the rest of these through the pearl and now we need to exit at the top again because we're just going to add another component through here through there and there we go all right i gotta make my needle longer there we go and this one is giving me havoc because i did not go around twice but i will now for this next um, section, you're going to use all white pearls or whatever color. If you do white, you can do pink, blue, purple, whatever color you want. But you need to pick up a super duo first, then a pearl, a super duo, a pearl, super duo a pearl and a super duo. And again, just going to go back and make a circle and go through this white pearl again. So this will complete another white section. 
like that. Okay. So I'm going to leave and go around here and reinforce this. So I'm just going to leave and go off camera and I'm going to do um, my sections until all 24 of my pearls are used up. And that will leave you with one, two, three, four, five, six sections because I'm omitting this um, blue one. So do six sections or shorten it even more depending on the size of your wrist. Now what I was thinking too if because um, I'm kind of adjusting this as I go. Um, your toggle clasp, it's all going to depend on the size of your toggle clasp. So if you use a small toggle clasp, you may have to add a few extra beads. On the end here is where you can extend your bracelet. So if you want to omit another um, section and make it this big only and, and omit that, then you're just going to have to adjust it on the ends where you attach your toggle. So make it, try it on, leave yourself a good inch between here and here to do your toggle clasp up. And once you get all your pearls done, I will come back and show you what to do next. Okay, once you've reached the end of your bracelet, like I've done here, we're going to sew the toggle clasp on and I'm changing mine up a little bit because I shortened it here, took this out and I need to make it a little bit longer because it's not going to fit. So I'm just going to adjust it on the ends. So I'm going to pick up six 11-0 seed beads, a pearl, I'm picking up a black pearl, and wire protector. And I'm going to bring those down. And now you're going to attach one half of your clasp in through the hole and go down the other side of your wire protector. Like so. And then you're going to go through the pearl. And make sure you catch all your threads on that little groove here that's in the wire protector. Pick up six more 11 O's. And now you're just going to go into a circle. Like that. And pull. So this is where I'm going to check the measurements. I'm going to put it on my wrist and see if the other piece is going to meet, and it will. So this is perfect to make. This ends up being six and about one eighth in length, this area here. And I need to add a little bit extra here in the toggle. So now just go through all of this again to reinforce it. And I'm going to reinforce it three times make it good and strong. So you're going to go through all six beads, the pearl, the wire protector, through the clasp, and down the other end of your wire protector, through the pearl, and through the other side of six beads. Like so. And then through the pearl, and then reinforce it one more time. And you're going to sew the other end on when you get there exactly the same way. And this is what I mean by catching your thread. See how I didn't catch it in the wire protector? And now it's cut. And if you don't catch that before you tighten this up, you're never going to tighten that thread up in your wire protector. So go through all of these one more time. Pulling nice and tight. And through the pearl. And down through the six. And this did not snake on there. So I'm going it. And that should be good. And when you've finished your th 
three times around, we're going to embellish the top. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Oopsies. Didn't want it to do that. It went all the way around and snagged. <laughs> through there, careful, and then through the pearl, just the pearl. Okay, so there is one end of your clasp sewn on, and I think that looks really nice with the hematite beads. So you're exiting out of the end pearl, so now we're going to do our embellishment. So you're going to need six three millimeters. You're going to pick up four 11 oaks, one three millimeter, and four 11 oaks. So you're exiting this way. You're going to go across to the next pearl, and you want your thread to be exiting the exact same way it's exiting now. So I'm going to go through my pearls that way to bring my thread exiting the same way. So you're going to have like it a diagonal and sit it on top. Okay. See? Pick up two more or four more 11 O's. Turn this to you. And now you want to go up through just this three millimeter crystal. So, pull this tight, go through the crystal, and pick up four more 11 O's, and exit through the pearl where you started, and you'll be exiting the same direction, like so, and give it a good tight pull. Now make sure you check to see that all your 11 O's are sitting on top and not tucked underneath. So it should be sitting like this. Now we need to get into this pearl here, so we're just going to weave our thread through. Going around. So you're going to go through the super duo, through the pearl, through the super duo on the side where you're exiting here and pull and then you gotta go up through this pearl here because you want to stay in your thread path go through this super duo this side pearl and that super duo like that and then through this pearl here and now we are where we need to be to embellish again so you're going to repeat this here the crisscross I'll show you one more time pick up four 11 O's a crystal three millimeter crystal and four 11 O's so that's what you have on your needle and you should always be exiting, when you finish your, your, your section here, you should always be exiting in the same direction all the time if you work your way down. So your thread's exiting this way, and you need to be in this pearl exiting the exact same way. So just bring your needle from this way up that way, and pull. And try to snag everything while you're at it, like I just did. Oops. Okay, and you don't want to do what I just did. <laughs> I kind of skipped this pearl here and went to the next one. So I'm just getting ahead of myself here. Oopsies, now my thread snagged. Oopsie daisies. Okay, I gotta pull my needle off. I love when I do this. I snagged the thread inside that pearl. 
All right, back to. that and thread it and that doesn't want to work okay I gotta fix my tip here I'm just trying to show you how to do this a hundred times. See how easy it is? Get it on there and then drop it like I've been doing. Okay, well let's see if I can go into the right pearl this time. <coughs> Alright. Go across into this pearl here. Now you're going to pick up four 11 O's and you're going to go back up into the three millimeter into this one. Go back up. So you're exiting back towards where you just came from and stacking everything on the way and pick up four more. And again, exit out of your pearl the same way. So the way I've started is the way I've ended. And this is what I mean by getting your 11 O's to stay on top of your bracelet and pull that good and tight. And now you have two embellished. There you go. So now you're going to take your thread, weave it through here, through here, through here, and back here. And then you're going to start your embellishment again like that. So get the rest of yours done. I have four more to do, and I'll come back and show you. Um, actually, I'm not even going to show you how to sew this toggle on. I'm going to have this sewed on. So what you're going to do is just repeat exactly what I did here. You're going to do over here. I don't need to do the video and show you how to do this again because it's just a waste of time. If you don't remember, just go back to this, follow the same thing and just put the other end on, no big deal. And then stay exiting out of this pearl and I will come back and show you what to do. Okay, I have completed putting all my embellishment on top like so and sewing on the other part of my closure. And this bracelet fits way better, way, way better. So this is where you, the point where you want to try your bracelet on, make sure it fits. Now you're exiting where you um, finished off your, your toggle here in through the outer pearl here. You're exiting out of the hole there. You're going to pick up an 11-0 and you're going to exit through the top of this super duo that's right adjacent between these two pearls and pull. Now you're going to pick up an 11-0, three super duos, so I'm going to pick up three of them but I'm checking them as I pick them up, and an 11-0. This is what you've got. You're going to exit through the next super duo over top of this pearl over here. See? And pull. Pick up 11 0 and go into the next super duo. So you're basically putting an 11 0 in between here. These are going to be loose and floppy and whatnot, but they'll get tightened up as we go. So that's what you're going to do. Pick up 11 L, three super duos, and an 11 L. Skip the pearl and go into the next super duo. Pick up an 11 L and into the next super duo. 
like so. And don't snag. And you kind of have to snap that one in between and pull this nice and tight, as tight as, as this will allow you to pull it. And I'm sorry I told you to leave all this thread, but you don't really need it because I ended up sewing my toggle clasp on with this thread. I probably should have used this thread and kept this for um, sewing on the side of the bracelet because I'm probably going to have to add thread. In fact, I am going to. Pick up an 1103 Super Duos and 110. Skip the pearl and go into the Super Duo. And pick up 11 -0 and into the next Super Duo. Like so. so this will be nice and kind of, it'll be cupped up. Make sure it cups up. See how it's cupping? It cups up on the, to the, facing the top of your bracelet. So I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to finish putting these Super Duos on and you're going to do the same thing over here as you did over there. You're at the end of your Super Duo here, you're going to pick up one 11 -0, go through the pearl and then pick up an 11 -0 and go through the top of the Super Duo and then just continue the same pattern. This is not really rocket science. So get that done and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we've gotten all our Super Duos on, on the side now. It looks like this. And you should be exiting out of a pearl on the top here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go and pick up one 11 -0. Go into the top of the Super Duo only, the one that's right beside your pearl here. So go into there and pull like so and it'll be sitting kind of on top so I'm working while my top is facing me all right now you're going to pick up two super duo or two 11 O's and go into the next super duo pick up one 11 -0 into the next 111 and into the next and this is going to kind of cup upward like so oops it's going to cup up now you're going to pick up two 11 o's and now you're going to go through between where you put the one 11 -0 between the two super duos here you're going to go scoot down into here can't do it that way on the thing I actually just bend it like this and it's way easier to get through See? so that's picking up two 11 O's pick up two more 11 O's and up into the next group of three super duos so just go into the first one like that and pull and that's what you should have and it'll cup up which is makes that much more beautiful um, and pick up one 11 -0 into the next super duo 111 -0 into the next super duo pick up two 11 O's bend your work a little bit and scoot into that bead between the two super duos on the previous row there. And pull. Pick up two. Don't pull it too, too tight. You don't want this to cup too, too much. And then pick up your two 11 O's and go into the next first super duo of the group of three there. Like that. And this is what you will have. It's kind of, kind of scalloped as you can see okay pick up an 11 0 into the super duo I have to work this way 
an 11 L into the Super Duo and pull. Like so. Pick up two 11 L's, bend your work, and go into the 11 L that's right there between the two Super Duos and pull. So you're going to continue this all the way down and it's cupped so it's I don't know if you can see that very good in the camera but it is kind of cupped here and when you get to the end I'm going to get to the end and come back and show you what to do on this side when you get here okay so finish your side adding the, the two between and one in between the threes just one in between and I'll be back. Okay, once you get to the end, your whole entire side is going to be scalloped and cupped up like this. And it looks really pretty. It hides all your threads that were showing in here between your super duels as opposed to here you can see your threads. Now it's hidden. So once you get to the end, you're going to pick up two 11 O's. You're going to exit in the top of the Super dual right adjacent to the pearl right there. Pick up two there. Now you're going to pick up one 11 0, go through the pearl and only the pearl and pull. That side is complete. Well, it's complete with this round. And you're going to pick up 111 0 up into the Super Duo again, right beside the pearl. And then you're going to pick up two 11 0s. And you're going to exit through your Super Duo and you're going to continue to do your scalloped edge on this side. And get that done get to the end I'll come back and show you what to do next okay exit out of the third super duo so I'm exiting out of the super duo only and no seed beads so you've come from over here go around into the beads just follow the thread path and exit out of the third super duo so you've got your groups of two in between here and then you're going to pick up a three millimeter and you're going to go across into just first super duo into the, all the beads across and give that a pull. Now see how this if I pull this really tight it's going to warp my bracelet so some beads are different in this case here I'm going to find a 15 0 and I'm going to put it between as well because the um, there's too much of a gap there's just a little wee gap in that one but this one is way too big in fact I'm just gonna try it with 11 O's instead of 15 O's cuz don't want to use 15 O's if I don't have to so pick up 11, a 3, an 11, and see how that works for you. So I'm just going to go across. Okay, I'm finding that that's a little better. So I'm just going to use that in between. Or you can just pull it tight like I did with this one. But you can still see a bit of thread in here. See? And I don't want to see thread. So pick up. Sorry. Don't pick up anything. Go through all your beads till you're exiting out of the third one. Like so. Pick up an 11 ohm. 3 millimeter, an 11 ohm. And go across into the first super duo. And then just continue with your needle going into. See, now I'm finding this to be too much. So, okay. 
Maybe I can squeeze that in. Yeah, it went in. But it, it's still going to push out of this warped area here. It's going to warp the bracelet if I put too many 11 O's in here. And that's the reason I didn't do that. So I don't really like this at all. So off it comes. This is not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Just going to try one more. Let's see how it works. I just don't like thread showing, especially against black. I don't know, maybe that is working. See, sometimes you just have to play with your piece a little wee bit and test the waters before continu continuing it. So that's that's looking good. So I'm going to continue to do this between the groups of three, the scallops here. I'm going to put a three millimeter, add a little bit more sparkle to my bracelet. And I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so... I'm just finishing um, off, tying off my bracelet, and actually I'm tying it off here. You can see I'm doing it at the um, the top of where my embellishment is. And I usually like to do a good two, three half hitch knots, and I usually double it once, twice, and weave through some beads like so through the pearl and time to cut it because I've already tied a bunch of knots so I'm going to use my thread zapper for this because it can get nice and close alright perfect so there there you have <gasps> your completed Roman Hugs and Kisses bracelet. I think this bracelet is just beautiful, stunning. And this one here, like I said, you can leave it. You can just play with it. Make it your own. Do what you want with it. Have fun with it. You can, like I said, you can leave this um, last row out and just leave it scalloped. It is pretty like that too, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, haven't worked on a piece for next week yet. Maybe I can figure out how to um, get that um, wedding one together. <laughs> just if I have the time. I've just been back to work now and it's been really busy and... I've been really busy here with my husband here and with the birds. So I'll see you guys all on the next tutorial. And you can also use this one for um, the contest. You can use any one of my tutorials. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.